Um, this is kind of interesting, this little equation, you know, they got a ejector pin design objective, so for a plastic molded part ejector pin, so that's what we're going to work on in this particular tutor. Uh, you know, tutor on equations. And by the way, you can actually, you know, to view the dimension names, you can just click on this button up here too. So, as well as, you know, check it in the sunglasses menu. So, right there. <coughs> it's entering a formula here, a global variable. Um, got that put that in there. I, I don't know how you display the fucking all the very or the measurements like uh, if I was done before I can't get it to I can't seem to find it. Okay now we're gonna I'm just gonna try editing. I guess I can't while I'm in this. Jeez. Oh. there too. I don't need to just do it in equations, um, which is located under tools. <coughs> so that entered that formula that way. <coughs> I can just copy them and paste them from the from the help here too. Or the tutor. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I went and I didn't do what they said, but I went and put an if then statement basically so you know, so if this global variable I created is greater than zero, okay, it will use it. Otherwise, it will just use the dimension in sketch one. So, so you can see it value which point four seven. Point seven five. You can see how everything got bigger. Okay, everything got smaller, I think there's an error in the formula, <laughs> but uh, if I set it to zero, you know, it goes back to, defaults back to the dimension, so I could edit the dimension, you know, D1 in that sketch if I wanted to. Sketch 2. see if I can rename it and I'm going to see if that updates. D1 and sketch. Wait, what was it? Ugh. D1 and sketch 2. Okay. So that's why you name your dimensions. did it updated. So I'm glad it's that smart.
the fuck you're supposed to view these comments. <laughs> but, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, you know, it looks like this goddamn thing does still have that error in it. You know, where if you put notes over here, it gives you a fucking error. So, I don't know why that is. Maybe you gotta put it in quotes or something. Let's try that. Nope. But yeah, that's what's going on. That's why that thing's acting like there's an error in it, but it works just fine. See, if I deleted those two, you know, it, it works just fine, and I put them just, you know, went ahead and put my note here, so, anyway. See, it works fine now, but as long as it's got an error, it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't let me, it wouldn't recalculate when I changed the value there. So, I guess undo key works, that's good. Let's see, alternate diameter. I guess I can't do anything with this. I can't just click and edit it here, so I just have to go into manage equations. But anyway, it's pretty cool. And you can go down here, you know, instead of being on the equations tab, which only gives you the formulas you entered, you can go over here and look at all the global, all the variables, um, and enter equations here, which this would be very convenient right here. This is awesome. Um, I guess this is you know, just an ordered view of, uh, you know, have categories. I don't know what a sketch equation is. Like I said, these are all variables we didn't assign, so, you know, and apparently you can certainly, you know, change the, uh, you know, the dimensions here, too, so, you know, if you wanted to, <coughs> like, for example, I could change my main shaft diameter right here if I wanted to, so, you know, pretty straightforward. Okay, now we're going to go put a feature suppression in it, okay, so I'm going to go click a feature, chamfer 1, so it goes into that box. And I'm going to enter an equation. diameter is less than one millimeter, then suppressed. Suppress. <clears throat> I could have just typed it, but 
I just wondered if I could click it or not. Okay, tab. Tab, alright, it's unsuppressed. Jesus, pin shaft diameter is less than one millimeter? Man, that's one tiny pin. You know, these guys really had a fucked up idea what that equation was supposed to do. Yeah, I'm going to have to modify. There's some error in this formula, so... Okay, I guess I, I know what I'm doing. It's... You know, I'm going to have to go ahead and do what they said and set that because, you know, I wanted it so you could either enter it here or somewhere else, but that really won't work. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to undo that. I'm going to have to, you know, get rid of my formula just because that's um, creating a circular reference. <coughs> yeah, and of course, the cancel key doesn't work worth shit here. Be sure to hit this automatic solve order because this was getting some kind of this fucking thing got confused after I edited it and there's nothing wrong with it. Stupid piece of shit. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put this back since I hit cancel. Uh, 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 and you can start typing, you know, and it gives you that. Just be sure to hit enter, don't hit tab. Else, unsuppress. And then hit tab. Fuck you, you're supposed to automatically solve order, you piece of shit. Stupid piece of crap. This fucking goddamn buggy ass piece of software, I swear to God. Okay, now I'm gonna go out and fix our problem here finally. Um, okay. Since I got this value stored there, I can just simply say this equals our shaft diameter. And that ought to fix that. So basically I can't directly edit this anymore because it has an equation in it. Um, but, you know, I can still change it here. And now it updates properly. So, change to 0 0.05, so it puts it below <coughs> below that threshold, you know, where this will kick in. So it should be suppressing that chamfer, because it's below 3 millimeters. So, anyway, pretty cool. And I can just put it back to default that way. Yeah, apparently you can also export this to an external text file. I don't know why the fuck you'd want to do that though. I mean, what good that do you? I mean, it makes sense if you could export it to a spreadsheet or something, but, you know, just a text file. I mean, fuck, you know, who cares? I don't have to parse it. Um, so, that seems kind of silly. <coughs> you know, I went ahead and put the equation thing up here in case you want easier access to it. It might come in handy.